Let's see part one of the Plague Doctor. The jeers, the whispers, they pushed me deep into my studies. Plague Doctor. Chapter one. The good student. The good student. Brilliant and bold, her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect on her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body, of life and death itself, hovered just above her scalpel's reach. If only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness. Hmm. We get plus one mastery, we unlocked emboldening vapors. Give our target additional damage. Chapter two, head of the class. Her professor was a relic, hacking and Whoa, hey. his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Review notes, self, minus one stress. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. More than two trinket slots, I doubt it. They mentioned two trinket shot slots per character even in the PC Gamer article, so I doubt it. Heated rebuttal, minus three stress. That's all we can do. <laughs> I like, I'm having fun so far. Yeah, go major. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Symptoms of a terminal illness. Oh, there is no town management. You can't change the party. It's one run. You choose a party, you go through the whole game with it, and then you can choose the party for your next run. It's more like a traditional roguelike. It's, we are playing out the comic. I mean, they said all this in like all the articles and everything that they put out over the last year. So I'm not sure why people are surprised by it. If that's not okay. Then don't play it if you don't like it. So I said, if I ended up not liking it, I just wouldn't play it. She delighted in the combative debate. There's so many good games for me to play. I don't like it. I won't play it. Reveled in their outrage and confusion. That since the game is not roguelike. Well, I mean, I mean, you're kind of arguing with the developers on what their vision of their own game is, and that this was their their vision for Darkest Dungeon. So I mean, if that doesn't align with something that you like, that's fine. Everyone has their own opinion of what they're gonna like and dislike. Um, but it's literally what the developer's vision for the game is, though. So. You only play games you don't like? That must mean you play lots of, like, League and stuff. She killed him with an objection. All right, another shrine of the past. Uh, well, shrine of reflection echoes of the past. Uh, let's go ahead and finish out the Plague Doctor ostracized. I had to prove myself no matter the cost. Chapter 3. Extra credit. By the second semester, her research was at a critical point. 
and regular supply raids of the university laboratories had become necessary. During one such expedition, she stumbled upon her professor, awkwardly slumped over his podium, a bloody kerchief on the floor. Here, then, was her ideal cadaver, her long-awaited opportunity, and she would not waste it. Mm hmm. All right, another mastery point and, of course, another skill. Unlocked indiscriminate science. Requires that the target is below 50% health, has a one round cooldown. 10% healed per positive token. Target heal 10%, remove all positive tokens. Interesting. 10% healed per positive token. Target heal 10% and remove all positive tokens. Have to obviously look and see what the up. I know I keep saying that on every one of these. Uh, we'll have to look and see what the masters are like. Seems like it's definitely usable. Depends on the team, obviously, like a lot of these moves. But anyway, another one down. I think we have two more left. All right, on to the next Plague Doctor, I think we're at. Uh, Shrine of Reflection, their echoes of the past. I could not say if it was madness, revenge, or naked ambition. Chapter 4 Failing Grade God Success Vindication The human machine Restored to action Holy crap the model the professor Reanimated professor And then we got the lab gear and apparatus Then ourself Which we're not very happy with what's going on uh, stabilize the patient. We have a restrain, which locks them in place. Stitch, which... Self-stress and heals the target and removes bleed. Miraculous surgery. Minus 10 to our stress. Heal 50 to 75%. Requires them to be locked down. Alright. Um... Let's restrain them. Resisted. Stop struggling. Okay, so he's whale from the front. Gives us one stress. Please keep still. Keep still. Not steal. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to stitch him. It feels like I need to keep trying to restrain. Hmm. I wonder if he can only be restrained at a certain, uh, like maybe the back. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. I think we need to heal him after that. No? I feel like it needs to be in the middle <laughs> based on the graphics of this alone. All right, we really need to heal him. Nah, he's gonna be okay. Stop struggling. Maybe he has to get like full health to heal or to root him or something. We definitely gotta heal him. We're starting to, oh wait, stab. What if I just kill him? It says stabilize the patient. Oh man, it's the only thing I can do anyway. All right, it's one of those that you're supposed to, to fail. Wailing was horrible, but the silence that followed was even worse. Shrieking and wailing was horrible. Yeah, I would say so. All right, we got our mastery point. Now let's go. Cause of death. Use from the front three. Hits one of the front three. Damage target is a variable. Cooldown two rounds. Ignores the block token. Deal 75% of remaining dot damage as damage and remove the dots. That's a pretty interesting thing. It's like, um, obviously you don't have to wait wait out these things. You can do a huge burst of damage, especially like finish something off. There's been a lot of cases in this game, in the previous one, where there's a bleed that will eventually kill something and it'll overkill it. 
But if you just wait for the bleed to finish it off, it'll take like three rounds. And with this move, you don't have to worry about that. So this can be pretty good paired with some characters that are going to apply a lot of bleed or burn. So again, situational. I think all moves to an extent are situational, but this one may be more so than, than others, depending on if your team has dot damage or not. Pretty cool move, though. All right, the last Shrine of Reflection echoes the past for the Plague Doctor. Those screams will never leave me. Chapter 5. Do no harm. Disposal of the body was a procedural affair. A carboy of acid would dissolve the thing and no evidence would remain. In the weeks that followed, however, she found herself unable to focus, sitting motionless at her desk, paralyzed by the ceaseless wailing that reverberated in her mind. Well, she fell that oath. All right, our mastery in the last two skills. Disorienting Blast, same as from the first game, basically. Back three position sets any of the back three on the enemy side. It shuffles the target, also dazes, and a 25% baseline chance of giving them a weakened token. So, again, we'll have to see what the mastery does. Maybe that increases the chance of the weakened token, uh, but we'll just have to see. And then Magnesium Rain. Look at that. Cooldown one. Back two positions. A four. A, a, an AoE that hits all enemies. Clears corpses and puts a burn on. Now, the damage seems kind of insignificant. But in this game, that's kind of a big deal that it hits all four positions. Because there's a lot of things that uh, that helps with. So just getting rid of tokens on the enemy scene. A lot of times, like running to the cultists, you'll have all four of them with dodge tokens. This just gets rid of that which is fantastic. In addition to that, there are on-hit trinkets in this game, and the on-hit trinkets right now, they roll individually. So if you have like a trinket that's on-hit chance to blind, it's going to roll it on each individual enemy. So using this at the beginning with one of those trinkets, you've got pretty good odds of at least getting one of them off, and sometimes you hit the jackpot. So uh, that's a pretty good move. I'll probably take that most of the time on her, honestly. If for no other reason, it's just incredible at getting rid of those uh, annoying tokens, dodge tokens, block tokens, all that good stuff. And, I mean, it leaves some damage, so. Alright. The Plague Doctor is done! Only one character left. Oh my lord, we saved Dismas the Highwayman for last. How did that happen? 